What's up, good day, everybody? This is Sports Sun News. I'm Joe Burke, and this is going to be a quick reaction to the Philadelphia Flyers' first round of the draft, as we see today if they get a pick in the second round by trading up, or what happens today, or if we have to wait all the way to the third round for them to make their next selection. But in the first round, they got somebody that I think was the expected guy going in, so pretty much they picked the safe pick in the end if you go by that which was Cutter Gauthier. Of course, in the end, it kind of sucks how it fell into place, as my one good friend said, because Shane Wright went one pick before us to the Kraken, who were going to have a ridiculous center core with Matty Beneers and Shane Wright developing over the years with those two. But the Flyers got their guy, the guy they seemed to want from what Chuck Fletcher kind of said in the press conference. It did, I don't think the Flyers thought they had any chance of getting Slavkovsky. And then, of course, Slavkovsky ended up going number one, which caused Shane Wright to fall to four because of just the way the draft board went with Jersey. Didn't really need a center anymore. And, um, so I have to plug this computer in. And, uh, the, um... Coyotes decided to stick with their man and go with Logan Cooley instead of altering their draft board and going with Shane Wright, which then allowed Shane Wright to fall to the Seattle Kraken, uh, which ended up being right before the Flyers. But coming in, I wasn't really disappointed we didn't get Shane Wright because coming in, I thought we had a 0% chance to get Shane Wright, and it kind of just somehow fell into place that he went right before us. But I think there was also a 0% chance that if he fell to the Kraken, he was going to go past the Kraken because they're not going to pick Gauthier over Shane Wright, you don't think. So, that kind of is just how that fell into place. Now, on to the player. Uh, Gauthier is one of the better scorers in the draft. He had 34 goals, 31 assists uh, with his team, the U.S. He's in the U.S. National Program. Uh, he's a guy that I don't think will make an impact next year. He's a guy that you're going to need some time, obviously, uh, to develop, but he was a guy that the Flyers actually had tab for most mock drafts, which is odd because usually the Flyers are one of the hardest teams to predict in the draft and they actually seem to have got it right this year uh, most pundits that try to predict this he has a great shot he's 6'2 with size good skating ability and he's also not bad defensively he might have to improve some there but he's also already good defensively and is going to improve upon being good where a guy like for example Connor Geeky is very good in the offensive zone but needs to improve skating ability therefore he lacks a little bit in the defensive zone you already have the skating ability with Gauthier and the size as well that he doesn't have to worry about that as much. Um, he's also one of the best puck battlers in the draft, which I think is a big thing the Flyers needed. So I think the fact that he's great along the boards, something we haven't seen enough, and something John Tortorella loved. Good defensively and very good offensively with size, another thing that the Flyers won in towards once. I think that's why they prioritize Cutter Gauthier over David Juricic, but... We'll have to see how Juricic uh, develops because we're going to get to see him a lot. He's with the Columbus Blue Jackets. So if he ends up being a very good defenseman, those guys are going to be battling against each other for years to come. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out since I know a lot of people also want a Juricic. But uh, Cutter Gauthier does seem to be a very good player, very good skater with size. One of the best scorers in the draft um, as well. So, Rucker McGrody, another guy at a USA's program that Winnipeg guy is probably one of the other better scorers in the draft, but not as good of a skater on the onset as Gauthier. So, I think it was a good pick. I would probably give it a B plus, A minus. I don't think it's like an A, a plus pick, um, but I would say it's a good pick. That's like an 8 out of 10, which is what I would give it like a B plus is like an 8 out of 10. So, yeah, I would say around like a B plus because I would say it's about an 8 out of 10 pick. So, a good pick. Now it's all about not messing up their development because, as the great Bill Metzler has brought up in the last few days, if you look at the Flyers in terms of rankings on draft boards coming in and stuff from their last drafts, they were usually pretty high a couple years ago. It's only dipped because of development. It's a development problem, not a draft problem, so to speak. So hopefully with Danny Breyer, it seems like stuff's starting to get fixed there. Hopefully that continues and Gauthier is going to be a stud for the Flyers for years to come. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Please consider subscribe down below. Above on the easy to use widget to keep the channel growing to the goal of 300 people as subscribers. That is our next goal. I think we're about, about 246 now, so we have a little bit of ways to go. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe, and also enjoy the rest of the NHL draft.